YouTube, today we're gonna go over the Necrozma Steelix team that I made for Bexpec Bows. Let's get started and roll the episode. So why Necrozma Dawn Wings? Now, this Pokemon is kind of close to my heart because it was one of the Pokemon that I did win my first international championship with. But overall, I felt like it was pretty underutilized for what it is, or most of the teams basically are pretty much the same. It's Indy D, female redirection with the psychic terrain expanding force, and then you have like sun mode, and then maybe some strong hitters at the end. So I really felt that there were other ways to use the Necrozma Dawn Wings, and I really want to explore the options. So I really want to try it out and see how it went. So how was the team formed? Well, we had the original idea of what's going to be Scrafty plus Necrozma with the Acid Spray combination. That was my main idea for the Necrozma team. Then actually the next Pokemon was actually Steelix. So a Pokemon I wanted on this team, I knew I wanted Wide Guard, and I wasn't exactly sure what kind of Wide Guard user I was going to bring. I think a Rock Wind was definitely a decent option because it's good against Incineroar and high special defense stat, but I feel like that's pretty common, especially with Lunala stuff, so I kind of want to try a different Wide Guard user, and then I looked, and then Steelix ended up coming out, and I completely forgot this thing got Wide Guard, so... It was a Pokemon that also helped because Xerneas was a little bit questionable. I wasn't sure how I was going to prep for Xerneas yet. And it had decent coverage. Its high defense stat is really nice too. It really complements it. And having, again, the access to wide guard was absolutely huge. So I ended up going with Steelix as my uh, third choice. I felt like it was going to be a fun experiment. I love trying out these Pokemon, seeing if they're viable in the current format. If not, you get to learn and grow more and expand your knowledge. So really big fan of that and i really want to try steelix so after i saw that i got wide guard and it got the coverage i needed which ground and steel great coverage especially for like stuff like xerneas and incineroar the next pokemon i added was going to be amoongus because i felt like amoongus is pretty important because of torn ogre matchups where so many things can do a lot of damage in necrozma and taunt tornadas plus water spot kyogre really big threat to necrozma in general it makes it really hard to set up trick room and i didn't want to add torkoal on this team so i ended up choosing the amoongus here because of the fact that it can usually help because i could weaken the kyogre with grass knot it survives hurricane plus water spout or if they want to go for taunt water spout i still get the grass knot off anyway into kyogre and then i weaken it immensely which is absolutely huge and amoongus also complements the necrozma because i get to pollen puff the necrozma as well so that was a main reason I wanted to bring it in case Necrozma needs to get some healing. I can uh, also heal the Reggie Drago, which also came into play. So it just ended up working even better in that case. The next Pokemon I actually ended up using on the team was going to be Primarina, actually. Primarina was a great Pokemon because I needed stuff that can abuse Acid Spray. And Primarina was a great Pokemon to have because of the fact that I was weak to Yveltal and Incineroar. On a Pokemon that could deal with that and Primarina pretty much fit that bill with the water and fairy coverage with the acid spray combination as well and being able to take on the Veltal with its high special attack stat and special defense stat is pretty decent as well so really did like Primarina final mon was Reggie Drago and the reason is I want another acid spray combination as well and I just wanted like heavy damage output because I wasn't sure how much damage Primarina was really going to do. So I ended up bringing Reggie Drago because of the fact that it does an insane amount of damage already. And then with the Acid Spray, I'm getting a lot of knockouts with Dragon Energy if they aren't able to switch in properly or protect themselves. And it would be able to sweet teams if Necrozma does go down early. And I need another Acid Spray combination. Reggie Drago, fantastic for doing a lot of damage with the Dragon Energy. So that was how the six was formed. All right, let's go over the items, the movesets, and the EV spreads of the team. We have Assault Vest Scrafty with Intimidate for the ability, Lash Out, Close Combat, Fake Out, and Acid Spray. I absolutely love Scrafty. It is one of my favorite Pokemon that I loved using back in Generation 5 and early stages of Generation 6. Before Fairy was a thing, before Intimidate and Cinnamon was a thing, this was one of the best you could get with Intimidate and Fake Out, which was really nice. Other one was Hitmontop. But I absolutely loved Scrafty. Its typing was very unique and I absolutely did enjoy using it because it was super bulky and was a great support Pokemon. So having an Assault Vest just allows you to have an already high special defense stat get boosted even further. And Intimidate's just, you know, always a great ability. I think there's not much to say about Intimidate. We have Lash Out in Close Combat, the best offensive moves for Scrafty. I don't like Crunch when you have Lash Out because Lash Out can punish Intimidates, for instance, or other stat drops that you could be occurring and close combat able to do a lot of damage good good chip damage into things like incineroar against darker shifu 
is very nice. Fake out for support, especially with a Trick Room team. Fake out Trick Room is a good situation or fake out plus Amoongus setting up a Spore potentially is great as well. And then Acid Spray. I do love Acid Spray Scrafty. I did try this out, I think, earlier in uh, earlier team in Generation 8, actually. I don't remember which series it was, but I do love Acid Spray Scrafty. It is a fun tech that I do love using on hard trick room teams. And I want to work with Necrozma this time. It would work out for Necrozma, and it would work out for things like Reggie Drago and Premier on this team, especially since Scrafty is the slowest thing, which means it will be the fastest thing under Trick Room. Go for an Acid Spray before Reggie Drago, Primarina, or Necrozma can move in Trick Room, and then they could follow up for a potential KO or just a bunch of damage in general. The Eevee spread is just something that I really am accustomed to. It's a max defense Scrafty, basically, with max HP, 244 defense, and 12 special defense with a relaxed nature. Now, the reason I do have this is because there's not really any calcs that I think matter between 244 and 252 defense so i have a little bit extra in special defense which does change a little bit but again it doesn't really make a difference the reason i have near max defense on scrafty is because it's able to take so many attacks on the physical side even with intimidate as well i'm switching in Sinor, i'm switching into real boom uh, it can take attacks like close combat from mian Shao and urshifu which is really nice and then dish out a quite a bit of damage afterward doesn't have the highest attack stat but of course with acid spray as a support and the last shot close combat is mainly for chip anyway it's just able to sit there and take attacks and that's really great for a pokemon that helps out my offensive capabilities on this team with the acid spray support having ways to rotate that intimidate and fake out and set up for necrozma reggie drago or primarina sweeps potentially in the end game is absolutely great especially with Amoongus pollen puff also just allowing scrafty to heal off a lot of damage which is fantastic overall i absolutely love scrafty and i loved using it again even with intimidating sinor being so common next we have reggie drago with the dragon fang with dragon's maw's ability dragon energy draco meteor dragon pulse and protect now i knew i wanted a way to abuse the acid spray even further and there is definitely some coverage i really wanted on my team so i wanted to do big damage to things like incineroar and just have a really strong spread move so i was trying to figure out i didn't want jealous hit with water spout because i already had a ghost up in the Crosma, and i was trying to figure out a good special attacker that i could really add to the team and then i thought about reggie drago because it hits really hard with the dragon energy and with acid spray i could pick up so many knockouts and threaten so many ko's using this reggie drago so i thought that was a destined combination that i really did want to try out with the Dragon Fang Reggie Drago in Trick Room, just able to do so much damage, especially if they it could punish things like Incineroar, Reelaboom, Intimidate, Fake Out rotations, because Acid Spray and the Dragon Energy would just be able to blow up one of those Pokemon if they ever swapped into that combination. So it just felt like a really solid option right there. So ended up going with the set, just a standard Reggie Drago, Dragon Fang to increase the Dragon type attacks. Don't really like Life Orb, just Dragon Fang is fantastic overall. Dragon Small, of course, the ability makes Reggie Drago hit really hard with his Dragon type attacks. And then three Dragon moves. Dragon Energy is like Water Spout or Eruption. Big damage overall, really hard to switch into if you don't have a Fairy type. And if you don't have a Fairy type, hope you have a Steel type or Wide Guard because your team's going to get obliterated. Draco Meteor, heavy damage output if I don't have max HP on the Reggie Drago during a match, if I've already taken chip damage. And then Dragon Pulse if I really need to just hit some accurate moves and weaken some Pokemon or clean up the game and then protect is just to uh position reggie drago safely so the eevee spread was a simple max hp max special attack set i think i could optimize this further i don't think max hp is actually optimal on reggie drago since it has a high base hp set already and really low defenses so i rather invest more in defenses than hp the reason i went max hp i thought if there's a real boom that's like rotating with the grassy terrain and they usually bring real boom i'm like okay uh, with the max hp maybe i could get more out of the hp staff from the grassy terrain recovery and that just allows ready drago to maybe get a little bit more powerful dragon energies off if i take damage and i'm healing with the grassy terrain that was basically my idea but i think i could probably optimize it for the defenses i just never found any calcs that really like changed much with ready drago i was just mainly doing damage output so the only thing that i felt was really important was the max special attack there was no need for any speed on the ready drago because i am running a hard trick room team so there's no point of it so i felt like the spread worked and i think it could be optimized more but it really just depends on what calc set there are out there because i never really felt like there was a really game changing calc that was different from max hp instead of investing more into the defenses 
but I'm pretty sure there probably is something out there. Next, we have Amoongus, and I felt like Amoongus was really good on this team. I didn't want to run Reelaboom on this team, and I felt like Amoongus could complement this team quite a bit because of Pollen Puff and Spore is really nice in general. So I have the Copa Berry Amoongus with Regenerator, Spore, Rage Powder, Grass Knot, and Pollen Puff. I really like the idea of having Amoongus because of the fact that if Necroz was taking a lot of damage early on in the game, uh, setting up Trick Room, then I prefer getting Pollen Puff to heal Necrozma and maybe get a second Trick Room up later in the game. So that was my idea. Also, really like the Spore because if I can't lead Necrozma, they have something that's too much damage output against the Necrozma. I can lead Amoongus, have Spore setting up for the Trick Room in the back in the late game. So I do like it. I have Cobra Berry on the Amoongus. This is specifically because I felt like Torn Ogre was a potential very scary lead combination especially if they have taunts so having that option i do want the copa berry so i do live like hurricane into water spout which i felt like was very important for the team in general regenerator really great ability for amoongus just to pivot and heal back some hp and it really allows me to get more pollen puffs or spores or setups later in the game spore rage powder grass not pollen puff just do a really classic move set. Rage Powder for Redirection helps protect Necrozma or Reggie Drago potentially and allow me to set up Trick Room or dish out a bunch of damage or a great setup move. Grass Knot for the Kyogres again against Torn Ogre could be potentially very scary, especially if they have Taunt on the Tornadus. And then Pollen Puff for healing is just really great in general. Also allows me to get a little bit more chip into like Reelaboom, for instance. All right, next we got Steelix with the Life Orb, Sheer Force as the ability, Iron Head, High Horsepower, Wide Guard, and Protect. Now this Pokemon's really interesting because I haven't really used Steelix since its Mega Evolution, and that was probably the best form it got. But otherwise, I did remember a report back in 2013, I believe, or maybe it was 2014. I'm pretty sure it was 2013. But it was like a top 32 team of featuring Gyarados and the Steelix with Life of Sheer Force. So I did want to use it again because of when I searched for it using wide guard users. And yeah, I ended up finding the Steelix and I thought, oh, it could work on this team. It has some rules that I did want on the team in general. So I did want to try it out. Life of Sheer Force, great combinations, multiple multipliers for the Iron Head, which is really strong Iron Head. Even with its low attack stat, it's still appreciated. And then unfortunately, high horsepower just doesn't have a ground move that it benefits from other than earth power which is not what you're using on the Steelers, that's for sure when it's using its attack stats so overall unfortunately it doesn't get a strong ground type move that benefits from the sheer force it will benefit from the life orb but it won't do as much damage unfortunately wide guard was the move i really wanted i forgot that Steelers got wide guard and i'm not sure how many people know about Steelers getting wide guard so i thought you know, we're going to test people's knowledge and see if they remember Wide Guard, but it was a mod that could help with the Xerneas matchup. Having Wide Guard for the Calyrex and maybe catch some Kyogres off by surprise. So, and then protect for the last move because you want positioning on the Steelix. The Eevee Spray is very simple. Max attack because this mod, Onyx and Steelix were done 30. Onyx just doesn't have a physical attack stat it's some of the worst mons have higher attack stats than onyx and then steelix doesn't even have that great of attack stat i guess his mega was decent but gee steelix does not have a high attack stat but we do need it to have max attack to help with the life of in sheer force multipliers and then afterward 204 hp gives it a number divisible by 16 which means I'll get more grassy terrain recovery and then 52 special defense just to increase the special defense set, which is also pretty poor with the Steelix. High defense is pretty nice though, especially if the Zacian doesn't have a fighting move, makes it so Steelix can actually do a lot of work against them. And also is pretty nice against the, quite a few common Pokemon like Eleki and the Incineroar can hit pretty hard with the high horsepower and it takes the Reelaboom attacks really well, which is actually pretty nice in general. While Steelix wasn't the best Pokemon, and its attack stats definitely proved why it's not really that much used. It was a fun experiment, and I do love showcasing Pokemon and trying them out and seeing how competitively viable they are. And while Steelix wasn't the greatest, it did do quite a bit of work for what I needed it to do. Next, we have Necrozma Dawn Wings with safety goggles and prism armor for the ability with Moongeist Beam, a Photon Geyser, Earth Power, and Trick Room. So... I love Necrozma Dawn Wings. I did win a tournament using Ultra Necrozma when it did have that Ultra Necrozma form. Dawn Wings is a quite an interesting Pokemon, a Ghost Psychic type, and instead of Shadow Shield, it gets Prism Armor, which 
might be great it might not be great it depends on the situation a lot of times the shadow ship will probably come in more handy the prism armor reduction isn't as great especially when a lot of the moves are four times effective which uh makes the crossbow struggle a bit but overall not a bad pokemon so save the goggles for the item i originally had life orb on the team because my original idea was life orb necrozma plus the uh, acid space crafty but since when i had a steelix to the team i needed a life orb on steelix so just ended up going with the safety goggles on the necrozma because i did have a bit of a weakness to amoongus i did kind of realize so safety goggles ended up working out pretty well for me prism armor for the ability again it's situational but it does help especially with the intimidate and pollen puff and hopefully necrozma can live usually one attack hopefully it lives a knockoff usually and then i'll be able to pollen puff away the damage that the cross was taken which is pretty nice and then the damage moves moon guys beam photon geyser i'm not needing expanding force on the team because there's no entity so i might as well go for the strongest special attack psychic move that it can get which is the photon geyser in this case earth power for coverage helps it against incineroar with the acid spray earth power into incineroar doing a lot of damage and then trick room which is really nice so i could have went for the meteor beam set but i really wanted to go for the acid spray earth power combination against the incineroars because if i use meteor beam and i don't have a way to hit incineroar later if they scout for it it's just a really troublesome way because that means i usually have to switch on the crosma when they get incineroar back in so i'd rather just have the earth power and it's very consistent against uh, Zayshan as well allowing me to do more damage against it so i really do like earth power and trick room i just wish i could have had protect somehow but i do think all the moves are kind of necessary especially photon guys are for the Amoongus because this is my main damage output against Amoongus. So the Eevee spread, I probably should have changed it actually, but I ended up going with max special attack because you do want the damage output with Necrozma, especially the acid spray knockout combination. So max special attack is really nice. And then I had 199 as an HP stat with 212 HP Eevees. Now, the main reason for this was because I had a life orb originally. So I wanted to reduce the damage that I was taking for the life orb hit just by one and since i don't have it anymore i think it definitely could be replaced but i do like having a little bit of extra physical defense just in case it allows me to take like stuff like real boom attack grassy glide a little bit better but i think i would take away from the special attack because as a spray plus combination from necrozma usually i would be able to pick up the knockout in most cases anyway so i think i could do with a little less special attack maybe add a little bit more into the hp again and maybe defense if there's leftover but it would require certain calcs, but as the spray into Moon Guy Speed was just doing so much damage, which I really did appreciate. The Krasma plus Scrafty double up was pretty insane, and the Krasma was able to do a lot of damage. And the max special attack kind of helped out because I was usually able to either one shot Amoongus, which was really nice with Photon Geyser, or I'd be able to like put them super low into like range of any other attack, like a Hyper Whisk from Primarina or a just even an attack from Amoongus could pick up a knockout after the Photon Geyser. It hits really hard, and I was able to actually one shot a lot of Amoongus during my games. Finally, the last Pokemon, we have Primarina here with some Mystic Water Liquid Voice for the ability with Hyper Voice, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Protect. Now, I think Liquid Voice is not great usually. I'm not a big fan of Liquid Voice. I actually made fun of Liquid Voice Primarina with Hyper Voice back in the early series of Series 4 and Series 5. And I think sometimes Series 3, but mainly it was Series 4 and Series 5. And it's just like Hyper Voice just did no damage. It really didn't. And I don't know if I even like it as a move now, but I felt like having to spread damage with the acid spray would make up for it. So I felt like on this team, it could be all right. It, it might be better to have Scald though, because you do put yourself vulnerable to Drill Chop from Incineroar, which isn't exactly great, which means you can't go for Hyper Voice. So it really just depends on preference. I thought Hyper Voice was okay here, but uh, it really just depends. Mystic Water for the output for hyper voice because again it is pretty weak liquid voice i felt hyper voice with the mystic water could help punish like subsations that they could usually get in certain situations like if i lead scrafty amoongus i'll need they could usually get a sub up and then i'll try to punch with hyper voice and that was kind of the idea of having hyper voice as well as the acid spray combination with scrafty getting some chip on a partner while hyper voice with acid spray would hopefully do a lot of damage or pick up a knockout onto the target and then moon blast for the fair typing i really liked pre marina mainly because the veltal was really scary so having that moon blast is pretty important as well as the strong special defense and the good typing for the veltal and i had shadow ball just in case calyx shadow rider was a potential threat because that pokemon whenever you have something that's really weak to shadow rider calyx you want multiple ways to deal with it so having shadow ball just for that situation i think i could put scald on it because i did click shadow ball i did actually but I think Scald might be better in general or 
other moves i think there's quite a bit the last move is kind of situational i think shadow ball was fine but i think skull might be better in general the eve spread is just very simple realistically i'm not really using primarino for bulk i'm using it for damage output especially with the acid spray and since i'm using hyper voice i need all the help i can get with max special attack max hp for the bulk and four in physical defense really there is not much to say about this primarina it's bulky helps against the Aveltal matchup will do a decent amount of damage it was a pokemon meant for incineroar as well as Aveltal, and uh can do pretty well sponges up some attacks nicely can take a shadow rider astral barrage for instance and revenge k with shadow ball which is okay so well primarina did pretty well for what i needed to do and it was always nice to have another acid spray combination with the scrafty that was available on the team in case the crossman went down early so how do you use the team? Well, the team mainly is for hard trick room setup and you really want to try to sweep under trick room or weaken them enough to when trick room expires, you're either able to A, set up another trick room pretty safely or B, you're able to clean them off there. So what are the common leads of the team? I would say the most common leads of the team are going to be Scrafty, usually with the Intimidate and Fake Out support. You're usually going to lead this with either Necrozma, if Necrozma is usually safe to set up trick room, or a Moongus and Necrozma isn't able to set up Trick Room safely. Having Fake Out into Spore and then trying to position Necrozma is really nice, or just going for the Trick Room immediately and then going for the Acid Spray combinations. Otherwise, there are some obscure leads, but they really depend on the situation. A uh, Premier is a really good lead with a Moongus or Scrafty if you need to really open up the opponent's doors, and Premier is just good offensively and you don't think you can get Trick Room up safely. And then Reggie Drago with a uh, Moongus and Scrafty is pretty nice as well because of the fact that you're able to go for a big dragon energy with redirection or fake out support which is really nice otherwise another support lead is actually steelix plus scrafty with the wide guard support it really depends on the team but overall steelix plus scrafty can allow for some interesting combinations steelix actually next to the crowds as well they have really strong spread attacks and you go for the wide guard can catch them really off guard maybe the crowds can set up trick room or scrafty able to ko stuff like Shadow Rider Calyx, for instance, which is pretty nice in general. So those would be the main leads. And then afterward, you just try to set up for positions of getting really strong damage that puts with Trick Room. You might have to call some acid spray combinations and read some protects. And overall, you're just trying to get some big damage output using the Necrozma. Otherwise, you can play some really passive games with this team using Amoongus Pollen Puff and Scrafty Intimidate and just wait for your opening and then strike when you can and that is going to be the end of the team but i hope you all enjoyed the thought process that went behind making the necrozma dawn wings team if you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below leave a comment down below it really does help me out and you can check out my other social medias as well and try out the team because series 10 is almost ending so make sure you try it out with the rent code on your screen or the pacement available in the description down below but otherwise that is going to be it have a great day people and until we battle again i'll catch y'all later